Hey everybody, this is Robert again from sdparkflyers.com. I uh, got an email today and it's a pretty interesting one. A uh, gentleman asked me, how do I do or how do I check center of gravity on a biplane? Now, the plane we're going to use here, this is the, this is the ULD uh, 3D EPP uh, combo, has some D-Pron like airlines made by Budget RC. Uh, great little plane. Um, if you're interested in getting a durable 3D type airplane, this is a great, great airplane to fly. It torque rolls well, it flies inverted, it does actually hands off knife edge. It's a really, really great plane. Okay, to do the CG on this plane, let me show you a little trick that I use. Works really, really great. Makes your job a lot easier for you. Okay, what you're going to do, it's really, really simple. Turn the plane upside down, um, and normally when you're doing a biplane, you're going to check the center of gravity on the upper wing. Now the instructions for this airplane say for a beginning pilot, a good place to set your CG is about three inches back, three inches we measure, three inches, from the leading edge. And what I did is I actually put a mark here uh, that shows three inches back. What I like to do, and this makes it really, really simple, take a straight pin like this, one that has like a little plastic bead on it, and stick it on that mark. all the way through the foam like that. It's a pin, it's only going to leave a little hole, it's not a big deal. And then do the same thing on the other side at three inches. Now what this does is this gives you a place because when you turn the plane back over the other way and you're trying to find a place to set your fingers to check center of gravity, this now gives you some pin marks where you can actually rest your fingertips on the little balls. Now let me show you how that works. Okay, we've got the pins um, on the foam on the upper wing, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the plane over, and I'm going to install the battery and everything like I'm going to fly the plane. I'm using here a uh, 600 milliamp 11 volt power supply, and we're going to put it where the recommended where the battery is supposed to go. And this is something you should do every time you fly your plane anyways, just check your grab center of gravity just to make sure things haven't moved around. Okay, then what we're going to do is now, now that the pins are applied to the upper wing and I can feel the tips with my fingers, I'm going to just put my fingers on the pins on the bottom of the wing here, like this, and that's how I check the center of gravity. And as you can see now, my fingers are right at the three inch mark, and the plane is pretty level, so that's actually a good starting point. And then if you need to move the pins, forward or backwards, or you just need to move the batteries, that gives you a good starting point. Most planes um, fly on what they call is a 30% rule, and that means like if your wing is like 3% back, or uh, if your wing is like 10 inches, the core of your wing from here to here, it's usually a good center of gravity is a third of the way back from the leading edge. So like one third, two thirds, and that would be the rest. So. Uh, the recommended, um, the guys at uh, Budget RC in their instructions say start at 3 inches and that's where I put the pins and as you can see based on their recommendations, perfect level, you know, perfect level CG right at 3 inches. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, I'll put some more videos on my site coming up soon with other suggestions and tips. Uh, check out the link on my site here for all the other videos or send me an email to robert at sdparkflyers.com. Thanks.